M0FXB. Welcome to my videos on the Zygu X6100. If you find these useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. 73, all the best. M0FXB Zygu X6100. Let's go through the display settings. This is with firmware version 1.10 December 2021. So we're on 80 meters. And the RF gain is set at 40 at the moment, and the preamp is off. So there is a display setting menu. So you have this menu along the bottom, and one of them is called display setting. We shall push it, And then we're going to change one at a time. Now we change them. See this orange square? We move it with the multi-function knob here. We're going to change one at a time and see what difference we see on the screen. So let's put this RF FFT average as low as it was. It won't go any lower. It's on zero. Let's go as high as it will go to REF number 10. And then we'll back out here. That's what that looks like now. Let's move it back. RAF naught. There you go. Let me know if you could see any difference. Go back in. Move to the next one. REF FFT REF. I'll just say that the manual says that the REF FFT AVE stands for RF Spectrum Display Average. The one we're on now, which is called the RF FFT REF, is the RF Spectrum Display Reference Level. Let's have another quick look at it. That's the default. Let's hit the settings. And we're on minus 10. It won't let us go lower. Let's go to plus 10. Right, can you see that? I think that did make a difference because we're, we're right, we're showing the, uh, the trails a lot better. If anything, I prefer that. So it's a bit like, a, I think it's a bit like an RF gain and minus for the, for the spectrum rather than the whole radio basically rather than this one here rf gain here let's back it off five see what happens and on number five now yeah yeah i think that's good so i like that because I, I can see all the peaks unfortunately at the moment they haven't got the ability for colors to change uh, now there's plenty of colour in this screen, so I'm sure it's doable. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed for a firmware. Let's go to the next one. So we've got the... This one is called the FFT Span. I can't actually see that in the manual. I'll just double check. I think that one was added with the waterfall improvements in the firmware let's have another quick look so we'll go back that's what we're on now we'll hit it and we've only got two choices 100k or 25k so let's go back yeah we've got a, a slowed down much uh, zoomed in version of of the waterfall so yeah some people may prefer this I preferred it the way it was before, so we're going to put it back. Display, then back. Okay, next one. Display setting. I'm going to go over to WFREF, which stands for Waterfall Reference Offset Level. Waterfall Reference Offset Level. So, let's go back. That's where we are now. How can we change this? Let's just go forward and minus. So we'll go all the way back and we'll have a look. Yeah, that's definitely, I like that. Takes away a lot of the haze. 
I think at the end of this I'll show my preferred levels and then um, show the whole settings. Let's just go forward a bit on that. Maybe I've gone too far, I'm not sure. Waterfall reference, we're at minus 10. We'll show it at naught, that's probably where it was. Still very good. And then we'll go all the way up to 10. Yeah, it's definitely another one that's a bit like an RF gain, isn't it? So we're going to go back. And I, I liked it. I think let's try plus uh, about minus five. Sorry about this, my eyesight's rubbish. Back out. Yeah, we'll leave it there. I like it there. You've got some clear peaks. You can see the activity here. I think in CW it'd probably be different. Because we're getting some activity coming now. We're on the G5RV, by the way. Let's go again, display settings. So the next one is the AFT, FFT average. This stands for Audio Spectrum Display Reference Level. Let's have a look at it as it was again. Now let's see what the changes are here. Yeah, it's 0 to 10. So let's go all the way to 10 and back out. Yeah. Are the peaks... Are the, oh, you've got a background now. Well, that's better, isn't it? Let's turn that off, because that wasn't there before. So it's showing the peaks and keeping the peaks. Yeah, I definitely prefer that. So go back. Sorry, wrong button. We'll turn it off, we'll go back. We've got the peaks. Let's hit it again. Yeah, now I'm not really seeing the big change. Maybe they were there before and I didn't notice them. So we'll have to pen pencil that in as a maybe, I think. Let's try it one more time. So we're on 10, let's go to 0. Mm -hmm. like so are you seeing a difference? Maybe on a bigger screen you'll see it. So we've got to 10. Are these, are the green sections a bit wider? I think we'll leave it at 5. Hard to say on that one. Okay, next. Display settings. AF. FFT reference. Audio spectrum display reference. Let's try it. So we're at naught at the moment. Let's just go up to 20 and down to 20. So let's go up. Ah, that, I can see that moving this now. So maybe that's what was changing last time, was here. Right, so okay, I'm getting it now. So it's the audio, we're, what we're doing, when we've got the AF, AF here, we're actually changing the audio. You probably saw that last time, silly me. <laughs> anyway, so I get that. So we'll leave it, we'll leave it at naught. But yeah, it's the audio spectrum display. So that is the audio spectrum display, which I sort of knew anyway. Let's just quickly go back to the other one and see it, how it changes. Yeah, oh, you can see it now, can't you? Yeah. Audio spectrum. Let's do it to the one you prefer, isn't it? I think the more funkier it looks, the better. Right, okay. And then last of all, we've got the BL level. Is that brightness? Um, backlight level, yes. So let's just see, because we can do it. I have noticed with the backlight, you can push the lock button over and over again, and it will do that. I'll just show you. If you exit out and watch, this is the lock button. There you go. It's very bright. 
Okay, and then let's do it in the menu, display settings. Well, at least we now know what these are for. So, let's um, change. Uh, so I've changed the wrong one now, aren't I? All right, go to the backlight level and let's change. So yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? Uh, it might be a bit... So that's that's a nicer dim, if you ask me. Let me just... We've got... That's one. That's two. Now on this one here, if we back out... Is it the same? Uh, maybe it is the same. You got the number seven, eight, nine. That's the highest. Ten on oh no, a ten. We're back to one. So look at one there. And then we'll hit the menu. Yeah, it probably is the same. So you need it quite dim when you're doing video. Okay, so for normal use, I would have it about that about six. Well, obviously, for the video, it's dimmer. So if we look at my settings, we've got naught five one hundred minus five four minus two and two on my display settings. So I'm going to put that as what I prefer. But go back. Let's turn it up. Oh, I just turned the RF gain up. We were at 40, weren't we? I still don't remember seeing the background. I'll watch the video back and see if that was there. We even... Right, let's just push this. Turn it up. But it's working great. We'll just have a quick tune through on the... Finer one. If I want to go really fine at the moment, I'm having to go radio two and change the RIT XIT. I'll show you one. So RIT. And that works. Obviously, remember on transmit when you do that. Which will be the XIT. So, a bit of activity there. It's a morning in the UK. We'll go to a quiet part. The power's on low. And we can change the power with the this button here. We'll hold down the ATU. It does tune well. Am I DX? I could be cheeky and go QRP. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo QRP station. No. No, well, I'm not DX. Let's try here. ATU is on. Battery's a bit low. And we're only five watts. Oh, that's why you wouldn't have heard me. I was on. My watts were very low, weren't they? Let's go and get some power. So we've added some power. Got the DC cable in there now. And we now have the ability with the multifunction knob here to go up to 10 watts. 
and I can't hear the other station. Now watch how easy it is to add this to memory so we can find it in a minute. We can just, on, on the front here it says memory. What we'll do, I'll erase the top ones, I'm not using that one, so we'll erase it. And then we'll add this to it. And all you do is go save info and it's there. And then to get to memory channel on the top here, you have a VFO memory button at the top. So we'll just exit and move to this strong signal. I think it's probably off band. Yeah, it is. Wonder what it was. So, okay. Few stations there. Go back to this one here. Right, I think we'll end the video and we'll have contacts in a different video. This is a display and audio settings video. So 7-3, all the best.